Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Susie and uh, today we are going to be looking at my Las Vegas vlog from a year ago. I had a lot of unedited footage, so just kind of reminiscing over some old memories. It was my first time as an adult going to Las Vegas, so I had a really fun time. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So we got a hotel room here at the Link Hotel for $149 with Priceline. We've got a really nice bathroom here which I enjoy a lot um, and the hotel room is kind of modern and so this is my uh, outfit of the day. So the three of us have uh, two beds, we got a little desk, a TV, really nice view of the city. And uh, we even have a mini fridge and a little closet here, so it's perfect for the weekend. So we haven't eaten all day, so we're really hungry and uh, the Bellagio Buffet was one of the first ones open when we got here, so let's go dig in! <laughs> I've been waiting for prime rib this whole day, so I'm so excited. So now I'm going to be going on the high roller, which is kind of like the London Eye. Uh, it is part of the Link Hotel, which is convenient. And the view is gorgeous, but the tickets are so expensive. Cosmopolitan and we're going to the Wicked Spoon uh, Buffet. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping that it's better than the one at the Bellagio. Oh <laughs> I guess that would suck. <laughs> so let's Which let's is go weird see. because like when we were leaving there was like a huge line. There was. And like Al wanted to tell everyone like please don't go in. Yeah. <laughs> like overt. And it was like sixty dollars to get in. Six because of like the Memorial Day holiday pricing. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. Like yeah, you know. It's not right. worth sixty. No, not absolutely worth. not. <laughs> I got raw prime rib. It started bleeding. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but first one was dry, first one was bloody. Oh no. Do you know how many big chickens you can get? Let's <laughs> I know, right? We should have just gone to In and Out or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Honestly, 
looking at all of these different options. They look so delectable. Everything looks so cute as well. It's perfectly designed. The mac and cheese looks so appetizing as well as the barbecue. I got the little pot of vegetables because it was so cute. Everything here looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, wrong side. I really hope the shumai is not as disgusting as the one at Bellagio. I'm trying the prime rib right now. The shumai isn't bad. It's good. Mm. This is so much better than the Bellagio. The prime rib is good. The prime rib is mm -hmm. good? Okay. You want to try it? Okay. Mmm, that is good. Yeah. The desserts here look really delectable. They put a lot of effort into the design on top of each dessert and they're all very cute looking. So they have uh, a good amount of options here. I'm looking for a really juicy burger. Um, I heard they have one called the Mayor of Flavortown, but uh, I guess they didn't, so we got the mac and cheese burger instead. break and now we're going to the marquee nightclub. <laughs> Like a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. 
last day in Vegas. Uh, we just checked out of our hotel. We went to the marquee last night and it kind of sucked. Probably would not go there again. But yeah, now we're in Caesars Palace looking for souvenirs. So that'd be fun. And then we're going to go to the buffet. So last stop on our trip is the Bacchanal Buffet in Caesars Palace. It is a favorite to many people. The desserts here look so delicious and there's a lot of variety. Uh, breakfast also looks so good and the waffles are so cute. Uh, they also have fries with their own baskets and the prime rib of course is delicious. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. I do have a few things I forgot to mention. I wanted to show you uh, the desserts from the Bacchanal Buffet. They were super delicious. There was so many different variety of desserts there. They even had like matcha and taro flavors as well. And they had like um, some passion fruit and mango mousse, which is like my absolute favorite. Uh, but yeah, very, very good. Uh, I would say that Wicked Spoon was probably my favorite just because of the price and the variety of food that they had. It was definitely top tier. Uh, prime rib was perfect. Uh, I say the same for uh, the Bacchanal buffet as well. It was just an all-in-one uh, buffet there. Lots of uh, different varieties. Anything you can think of, they have it. Bellagio wasn't too great. Maybe it was just the time we went, but it uh, wasn't really worth the price going there. I also forgot to uh, show you guys my outfit from the nightclub at the Marquis. Uh, I bought it a while ago. I just didn't have the right occasion to wear it at. I heard that they have a famous like chandelier there and I kind of dressed up and looked like the chandelier which was kind of cool so uh, I had a really good picture there. I had fun going to the day club compared to the night club and seeing David Guetta was just really awesome so I had a really fun time. Uh, even going to Guy Fieri's restaurant, I hope we see him next time we go because I really really want to see him. He is one of my faves. He's awesome. Especially uh, seeing all the Flavor Town memes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe down below and comment what content you'd like to see me do. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye!